Okay, this is just a small apologetic video. I'm just going to do this under, under a minute and a half. Um, I had to redo a bunch of code, and instead of going for two episodes and that this segment was done, the champion set was finished, it's gone for three and it's still not done. And because I had to redo how usernames are done, redo how IDs are done, not so much redo them, but like redo how players spawn in because it was working, but if you. Um, if the host just wanted a private game by themselves, they can have that, and that's now fixed. They can have private game. So whenever, if the host, as soon as the host click host, he instantly goes in the champion select screen. He can just select his champion, do all that stuff. That's fine. And then whenever someone joins, they kind of join him in the opposite side, and they kind of work down that way. Anyway, guys, thank you for um, seeing this little segment. I'm sorry for that happening. Um, I fixed that. I added news names. I did a bunch of junk, and skins are working now. Um, it was a lot of bug fixing, but it, things are working. I had a really big image bug that took me ages and I just figured out how to do it. I don't know why I was image bugging, so obviously, uh, I don't know if it's not going to be fixed here, but obviously, as always, if I find a problem and you go, oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't think of this, and then you say, and you go, why didn't he think of this way, just please send in the comment section below, because I forget things all the time. I don't, I miss things, I miss the best way to do things, all that stuff, so send comment section below is the best way to get me to realizing it. Oh, I should add that in. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the episode. See you guys later. Welcome guys back to another episode. Um, today, I'm just going to jump in there. I actually haven't recorded an episode for a day, so I'm a bit clueless. But I understand what we're doing. That's a bit weird. Should be like that. Or is this is wrong. It should be toggling. I hate how I made a mistake in my scripts. I'm going, why did I do this? I don't understand how it works. You told your scripts on, but it makes no sense. Why would you want to tell your scripts on? <sighs> yeah, like, um, mm, maybe it's not gonna do with that. I understand we got skin to it. We're just gonna turn it off, actually. Move good old skin to And then when you click skins, it's going to get skin select list and it's going to get the game object no it's select skin and then it's going to get the game object and it's going to be it's active true okay, champion button game object no false And champions were added though. Uh, for some reason, it's doing that. There's no reason why it should be doing that. Well, now it's fixed. No, it's not. <laughs> what? That moment when it literally makes no sense why it should be doing anything. If we turn this off. Oh, it should be that. I see, so we'll just run this. So that works. But we have select like skin. And it doesn't it does dance and we should do this that moment when you're absolutely confused of why it does something oh 
I hose on to. At stupidness. There we go. Horizontal. Skin select list here. Not that much, I guess that much. Um kind of left to right, it's kinda of like this way. Some reason keeps resetting. I'm not gonna bother with that, it's gonna have to do. That's probably it. Ready? And it's kinda of broken? No, it's not. Beautiful. It's fixed. So that's a problem. Um, so that works. Um, we had characters working in the game. I do want to show something. So if this episode's a bit mundled, I just gotta get one out, and then there'll be a better one tomorrow. Yes. So I'm gonna show you the high poly. Actually, no, I'm not gonna show you the low poly. So I made two robots. And you can definitely see a difference just from what I showed you just then. But I'll, show, I'll go into more detail. This one's fully rigged, by the way, and I can show you. Um, oh, yep, see, because it's x ray mode on. So you can see all the fully riggedness. As you can see, um, there are bones for the katana, but you're not, you really can't move the katana. Oh, I'm not even joking. Like, um, if you, you're not meant to move the katana, also, this isn't rigged up properly, but that's fine. Ish, and it's still fine. And the reason that the katana is not meant to be moved is because um, I'm going to go into this a bit more when I rig my next character, which I'm building now. I, I had a robotic spider, but I'm not liking him because he's like, as you see right now, 16,000 verts for the whole thing. That's not too bad. That's actually quite good. I'm really happy. Um, my robotic spider, though, is 300 because of this brain itself. If we look at just, uh, we'll look at this. So just this area here. This is 1,000 verts. Guess what this is? Yeah, you guess it. This is 290. This here is 289. This brain. Yeah, it's a lot of vertices. So we're not going to be running that. That's why my computer's like. <laughs> Because you're not meant to have that many vertices, it's because it's like the top quality brain. To be honest, if I was to make a character like this, I'd probably change it. I do have a full um, skill set for him, and I'll go over very, very quickly the skill set. I actually got it right here. Um, he's, uh, the, by the way, he's like a bug person, which you probably can't tell by this image, but you will be able to tell by the next one. But if you definitely look at his eyes, they're quite buggy. He's got that kind of bug thing, and the kind of ugly things out there and if we turn off the um, armatures you can definitely see he's kind of buggy looking ish um he's robotic he's basically a cyborg cyborg bug a uh, cyborg ninja bug to be exact because he's got katanas but look pretty nifty uh, there's a little bit of textual weirdness here but it's just it, this was took forever this took ages it's maybe 10 hours or something so I'm, I'm not going to touch the little things i mucked up um, he's essentially a jungler slash DPS top laner. He's kind of a DPS, kind of like maybe even you could compare him to Olaf or Troll Warlord, I guess maybe. Um, he's got high uh, damage output and he's got some true damage. So essentially, you build him tanky or you build him utility tanky. There's a few builds you can build him. I want to make as many builds. And the idea is um, there's two passives I was thinking over and. He's kind of a samurai, so it's gonna kind of this resolve thing. The whole idea of him is that he kind of gets in there, does a lot of damage, and then he kind of f um, escapes. But the whole idea of him is that he doesn't have a lot of escaping potential. He's and if he can't engage properly, he just won't be able to engage. Because the idea of him is that once he enters combat, in combat he gets a hundred percent extra movement speed. That's a ridiculous amount. But as soon as he exits combat which is three seconds of no combat, no three seconds of not being hit, three seconds of not attacking, all that stuff, 
Um, and by non attacking, I mean you actually have to hit someone, right? It has to do damage for it to count as combat. Um, for three seconds, when you are non combat, you lose 50% of your movement speed. So essentially, you gain double when you're in combat and you lose half of it when you're not. So it's kind of like double half. So if you've got 300 movement speed, that goes up to, I don't know, 600 when you're in combat and goes down to 150 when you're out. That's really severe. Uh, I'd probably know if that's like 75% or maybe 50% in combat, 50% out of combat, something like that. And the whole idea is, um, it gives him too much stick in combat, but the idea is that, like, if he engages and you disengage, he is automatically out of combat and he just won't be able to catch up to you. So maybe you want to run some move speed on him or something like that. Um, and then there's another one which is just kind of like an armor thing, so as he's dying, kind of the cyborgness takes over him. And by the way, it's not actually robotic, it's kind of more like Quicksilver kind of stuff. That's like a natural virus thing that like slowly converts your body, which you understand when you see the second image. And especially when you see this, he's kind of connected, but it's like parts, but they're not really robotic, as you can see. This is much more like a spying kind of thing. And this is, I believe his top half that isn't even connected. Yeah, it's not. It's just like blank space. Um, it's kind of connected by the arms, which one arm isn't even connected, so I probably would fix that. Oh, it's meant to actually. Um, that's really ironic. This was meant to um, extend. Damn it. Wait, what? I think somehow it got deleted. No. Wow, that's weird. That's really weird. Oh well. Because now we can do this. It looks kind of weird, but oh well. Just kind of pull that out a bit. Maybe do that just to cover it up. Probably just normalize these things just so we can get a mesh uh, normals we calculate inside. Let's put it and line them up. There we go. So now things look a bit equal and they look a bit better. It's about right. You can't really tell too much difference. Slight difference that you can tell. But like the whole idea of him is he's not meant to be perfect, which is why I'm doing all these things. Like, even the head's not attached. Like he's. It's attached by its back bit. You know, it's this kind of mess of things because they kind of mold them into these shapes. So it means it's, it's an absolute mess, and um, and that's why things are a bit everywhere. It's, especially if you look at the arms, they're just like totally opposite. They're not even connected, really. If you look at them, it's kind of a bundle of mess just because it's what they really are. Yeah. Um. So and then he, he can kind of throw his cue, and that's kind of his initiation because it enables combat. Does their damage? It slows. He can kind of have two forms. Um, he also W, which I don't have here. Where is it? Here we go. You can have W, which just sees enemies and just makes them more vulnerable. Is E can make him get, have more armor or more attack damage, and depending on what one you choose, you lose bonuses. But there's a bunch of things with that, and then it's ultimate. Kind of just gives him a bit like a sheen effect. So whenever he activates his ultimate, um. It's like in a four second cooldown, it does true damage. And whenever you um, upgrade your ultimate, you can always upgrade one of your spells doing certain things. So if you upgrade your ultimate um, with your ultimate, it makes it stun, and there's a bunch of things you can do. So that's kind of his character design. Um, I'll show you the heat. That's 16,000, by the way. So keep that in mind. Or 17,000, we'll say. So the high poly is 56. This is not really countable. 
I really kind of also like the legs. I kind of don't. I don't by the way, the sheen's off just because I don't really touch it. I like this body a lot more because this actually has the effect that I want. As you can see, this is quite messy. It, it's what it really is meant to be because it's not meant to be this um, uh, kind of... It's really meant to be this kind of almost living thing that was just slowly, messily... Um, virus by this thing and also your body tries to find it and that's why you know this, there's these weird scars and things from these kind of almost creatures that basically eat him alive and that's why the eyes and his bums and everything because he's, it, it's completely not perfect and that's the whole idea of it and that's why I like this one a lot more than the other ones because this actually hit what I was looking for also you can see the blades look a bit better And you can you see that that was the original design, but it wasn't really working, and the arms look a bit better too. So like um, and th th it's because of the sculpting that makes the polys go so high. But you can definitely see the antlers and stuff like that. And you can see this is a little bit of a hook, and he definitely looks a lot better. I like him a lot more. But that was impossible to make. So I mean, it wasn't possible for me to um, obviously incorporate that so regards we're not going to be building him today i'm just going to show you that off he's still being built a little bit but he's, not, he's basically finished so what are we working today uh we worked on skins or did we Ooh. um Ooh, we got skin and brain ball the pink Oh, this should be skin zero 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 one. Uh, so now, if we look at it, just quickly, yes, we understand that. Um, so going over this, we had skins, and you can select the skin. It just acts as a champion. Uh, it looks like. Uh, we don't actually have the character, oh, yeah, because we're using a default prefab and since they're working. Oh, and we have IDs, and but are we actually checking IDs? Um, so when I select a champion, we're actually just check if you can actually select that champion. That's a good point. We just change the character. So you, so you click a character and it sends to everyone that this player is changing. So, um, if the temp, so my character is equal to a new character. Okay, and where's the temp character? Oh, I see. So we create a character, and then we see my character is equal to that. I see. Then we do a check, and we see if the if the character IDs are the same. Then we. Why are we destroying it? Oh, if they do not equal the same, then we redo all the skins. I see. But if they are the same, then we're just not going to redo all the skins. That makes sense. Yep. Um, how about we have a go at this? See if it's working. Playable characters to add. Uh, new brain bar skin. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, it's skin. I'm excited. Uh, ooh. We're still spawning it though. Hmm. This is easy to change. Could it just have like a separate thing for skins, but it's not really needed. So if we now build and run this, 18 minutes in, this is a bit late, but I, I did explain the character a bit, and I'm going to have an episode talking about how you can balance characters and stuff like that. We will just move this over here, and we'll open up another one. Uh, that will just overlook all this stuff. Uh, it's under UMOBA, networking example. 
There we go. And then we command this one too. Oh, damn it. We don't have this up. Yep. So it goes to Damn it. Um, build a man. Check it works. So we'll have a username. It's not like me accessing to the path, so I'll just close it and reopen it. This should be fun. I would just say cow. I know the thing's backed up. And then we got this. It's just because of how it's working. And we instantly are dodging this. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll host here. Join. The names are marked up. Oh, we gotta fix some names and then we're good. Oh, are we gonna do chat today? I think that's what we're doing. Guys, we're gonna start with champs. So we select this champ. We get a brain bar. And there are no skins. We select this champ. We go to skins. No skins. We'll have a look at this. Maybe maybe there is skins. Nope. Um There's absolutely no skins. Um Receiving it. I got check. Um, so. Oh, so we core change character. Did that actually go through? Yes. So this went through. I'm checking the GUID to get to the ID. How are we calling change character? Oh, that's it. Um, we're just going to run a simple update, and we're just going to say if my character um dot name is equal to nothing, then. My character dot ID is equal to negative one. Because what's happening is uh, the ID is in the same, so that's why it's not updated. Here. I would assume, because that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh my gosh, I I've done this like forty times. I always do that. I always forget the double. It's just who I am, basically. Um, we won't run through. We'll just run two. And this will be a slightly longer one for you guys, just just because I feel. Ooh. Um. Oh, I see how it works. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we might as well go my character ID. My character is a new blank character. And that may fix it. I don't know, probably not. We can run it, see if it works. Seems to have worked. And then uh, it's private, so we can't actually tell. Is that face? That's fine. We'll now build and run this. Should work beautifully. Um, get worked. Host, go in, join. It all works. Uh, we'll both click champions. I click this. 
their new skins. Darn it. Um. Counter ID is equal to zero. Guess we get a debug log. Because I think it's a point of the debug log. I really do. I think this is the problem. Trying all the objects and then scrolling through all the objects and showing that the character type is equal to skin. If it is, then it's gonna instantiate prefab skin. Yes. And then it's gonna name it. It's not getting to that point. So what we're going to do is basically have a simple debug debug dot log, which is just going to log a simple message of uh, temp character dot character ID plus it's going to do a simple slash and then my character dot ID because that's our problem. Now I'm running this. Ah, uh, yeah, we actually got a bit of one. We may just start for one and that will fix all our problems, but it's best not to start for one because you're having indexes that don't start at one and it's just mucking things up. Host join. Zero zero. I'd say my character IDs is not equal right. Um Hmm. I can just do this. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm a little dumb sometimes, I guess. No need for an update. It's not a little dumb, it's just like Here's a workaround that works. It's it's not great to do that, but it'll work. Yeah, it seems to work. No problems. No big error that's popped up. Great. Host. Um, we're going to join here just so we get all the stuff. Generic stuff. Choose my champion. Still. That's awfully weird. Because we're stating that that. I guess we could go character ID is equal to name to one, like that. And does that make much difference? That's not gonna okay. I really should not make this private, just because every time I have to do this. Which takes a little bit of time. We don't always have a lot of time. I know this is going to be a pretty bland episode, but if we can get skins working, I'll be really happy. New skins, champions, psych you. New skins. Still zero zero. Hmm. Despite me saying this. Um, let's just make it public. Um, my character. What's this? My character ID is equal to this. What's your problem? We're getting like character ID. 
but someone's still much mucking it up. So if you're the same player, it's gonna run this. And it's getting the temp character, which is the new character, and then so you're getting your character. Oh, because I'm doing this. Oh, that's my problem. Why would I do this? And that's what? My, I'm saying my character is equal to this. I'm just replacing my character. What's the point of having a temp character if you're not going to do it? Um. It's going to be at the very end. After if temp character is this, <laughs> it's just like stupid little mistakes that is that just drive me insane. <laughs> I, I do this like all the time, and originally because it was meant to be slightly different, and I've just made small changes. And the problem is, this is what happens with code. Uh, it's a small lesson for you. Uh, when you make small changes over time. They seem fine because you're just making very small changes, but you eventually get to the point where you're basically redesigning the entire system and you haven't supported the redesign. Ta da! Uh, the skin isn't showing up properly, but that's fine. And you see right here? It's totally mucking up this, but still, it's it's trying. <laughs>